Hi guys, Rachel Bob here. Today I'm doing a little demo of how to connect and use this lovely keyboard. It's the M800 Apex from SteelSeries. It's a gaming keyboard and I'm going to be trying to use it with my laptop. So let's... I've not used this before, let's give it a go. We have to plug both of these in. So it is going to take up two USB ports, worth noting. Whoa! Oh my god, that's beautiful! <gasps> oh, it's so nice! So we can set up different colours and everything for this and my aim is to get like a little stand so this can sit up when I'm using it at my desk and then I can just use this keyboard like as a gaming keyboard as it was meant to be used. So, you see it's installing down here both of the things. <gasps> it's actually going through colour cycles. Oh it's so lovely. See now it's recognised what it is so that's good and it's installing the hub and the keyboard. Very good. Well done laptop. If you're interested in learning about the laptop I'll put a link to a video about that in the description as well. Oh yep yeah, it works. Oh goodness, it's quite typey. Blah. Oh look, they're, they're like they're responding. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> this keyboard is flipping cool. Very good. I like it so far. Right. Don't save. Right, um, let's go into the settings and see what this is capable of. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the SteelSeries website and get the software. So I've come to SteelSeries.com and then I'm going to click on support and then go to downloads and I'm going to get engine 3. Oh, hang on, cancel. Engine 3 supported devices, the Apex M800 is on there, so yeah, I was right. <laughs> Engine 3, shouldn't have doubted myself. So I'm just installing this now. Obviously you don't have to use the SteelSeries software, but I think you get a lot more from the devices if you do. Okay, so now it's launched the SteelSeries engine, and we can have SteelSeries classing, we'll just leave that for now. And it's showing me the devices, the Steel Series devices that I've got plugged in. Critical update for this. Um, click to install new firmware. Okay, we'll do that immediately. Update complete. Please disconnect and reconnect the device to finish the process. Okay. Just unplug it. Oh, doesn't it look horrendous when you've unplugged it? It's so much prettier with the lights. There we go. Okay, and I think it lights up the side as well. Yeah, it does. Just to show you that. Beautiful. Right. Okay, so we've got configuration default. Let's just go into the settings up here. Okay. Make this big so you can actually see. Live preview on. So this is where we can change everything. Let me move this up here and I'll probably record my screen while I do this. Definitely has a sound to it and it definitely takes a bit of getting used to these keys. So we can actually click on each key, like E, and we can change the colour. Oh, so that's for quick record at the moment, but we can change that. Oh, and we have. We can... There's loads of different options down here. Alphanumeric, editing, all the kinds of different things you might want the keyboard to do. It's completely changeable. Play once, repeat when pressed. Yeah, so you can click on each key 
and customise it completely. Then you can click illumination and work on the lighting for each key. So you can set it to be reactive, which is what we've got it set to now. Um, or you can just set it to, you can add the illumination off if you want it off, you can make it steady, colour shift, breathe, reactive key, countdown timer, it tells you the active colour, blue, rest colour, orange, that's what we've got it set to at the moment. Um, so we can make the active colour like pink um, and we can make the rest colour like a nice blue and you can change the speed as well so yeah that will change that there's colour templates so we can have colour breathe click use so that's what it's doing now, it's colour breathing. American flag. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> Danish flag. Lovely. Default active mode. Default idle mode. Disco mode, oh my god. Oh yes, I love that one. That's amazing. I think I might have to keep disco mode. FPS, which is that one. So it's just lights, gaming, keys. Then we've got Glock fade, which is this one. Horizontal wave. Very nice. MMO. MOBA. So it's highlighting relevant keys for these types of games. Rainbow. Aww. Static colour shift. Vertical wave down. Magical. Vertical wave up. Wabash and Lake. I don't know if I've said that correctly. That's magical. Warp drive. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I could get on with that one. Um, Oh yeah, okay, so that's it. I've, I'm quite tempted to leave it on disco mode, but I don't know if that's a bit tacky. I don't know, I might just leave it on there. So we can lock keys, we can change the speed, we can change the idle mode, we can do everything, everything here. And you can even, even do it key by key and just work on it like that. That is so cool. Um, so you can set like exact colours, um, just everything. You can see here it's so customisable and you can lock keys as well um, so no one can change it. But yeah, this is your key binding so you can see what each key does and you can change the origin of your keyboard language as well. So that will help. But these are also really handy numbers for setting your profiles and things so you can do that down there and then when you do go into a game this is going to be really useful so i'm going to be using this every day now and i'm going to have a review up on this channel pretty soon when i've had enough time to actually use it in games and just in general use so i'll keep you posted on that so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that review and if you want to see the unboxing the link to that is in the description. Let me know which mode was your favourite for the lighting of the keyboard. Whoa, wait, why have you gone back to, why, why are we on this now?
Okay. Oh, because that's idle mode. Gotcha. Okay. That's good. We we found we learnt something. Okay. So um yeah. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah. Let me know which mode is your favourite in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.